Hey there, my name is David Lee with CoachDavidLee.com. The following video is an excerpt from my complete email marketing course using MailerLite. If you get some value from it, give it a like, share it out, leave any comments or questions below, and I encourage you to enroll in the full course if you really wanna get a complete and effective email marketing strategy up and running within just a day or two. So enjoy the video. Welcome back to the course. In this lesson, we're gonna be looking at using pop-ups. We're actually gonna create one and just looking at a few things to really keep in mind when you're creating your pop-up and a few tips to make them a lot more effective. So the pop-up settings, uh, especially in MailerLite, a few things to keep in mind are, again, the fields that you're gonna use. So that's you know the email field, maybe the first name field, just like we used in the embed form, same type of thing. And then what colors do you wanna use in the pop-up, any images you might wanna use, if you wanna use any images at all. And then also, when do you want the pop-up to happen? You can you know, set a certain time that goes by, like maybe if somebody's been on your site for you know, 15 to 20 seconds or something like that, or if they've, you know, moved around, or maybe if they're leaving the page, like they're about to X out of the page or go to a different tab, and then it pops up, and that can be really effective for just catching people's attention. And we've said this before, but overall, just make sure that you're offering value, okay? Some people think pop-ups are annoying, but if they actually offer value and are personable and focus on the visitor, then that's a lot more effective because they don't care about just joining your email list. It's not enough just to say, hey, join my list, join my newsletter. Well, why? What are they going to get out of it? And again, if you have a giveaway, if you have a free ebook or a download or a video, then you can also put that on your pop-up form. But just make sure whatever it is that you're communicating the value to the visitor of what they're going to get out of signing up on the list. And then maybe offer something exclusive, right? Maybe like some for me, I offer exclusive deals or coupons or announcements to my email community. They're going to get first crack at those deals they're gonna hear about them first, okay? So that's something I promise to them. And then make it irresistible. Again, make it something that people just feel like they've gotta have, right? That if they don't have it, it's gonna keep them up at night. They're gonna to toss and turn and think about it until they go back and enter in their email into your list, okay? So focus on solving problems, answering questions, and bringing value. So let's jump on it out of here and actually look at building a pop-up form. I'm already in the web form section of MailerLite, and again, to create a new web form, we're just gonna click on Add New Web Form, and then we're gonna name our form. So let's call it, stick with our Hall of Fame Running Backs group. Hall of Fame Running Backs, let's just call it Pop-Up. Okay, and then we're gonna pick what type of form we want. And of course, we're gonna do a pop-up, so create a pop-up. And again, you can go back and change the name of it if you want, and then we're going to select what subscriber group this pop-up form is linked to, just like we did with the embed form. Let's click our Hall of Fame Running Backs group. So anytime somebody enters in their information, it's going to be added to that group. And there's some templates here, and MailerLite looks like they're continuing to add a few more templates. Um, not a whole lot, not as much as there are with landing pages and things like that, but um, just some pretty simple ones. Um, this one here has a pretty big photo. Um, actually kind of like this one here, this design shop one. Let's use that. Let's select that one. It has a vertical image and then your header and copy and then your forms over to the right. All right, so here's our editor and very similar to the campaigns, very similar to the pop-up form. Uh, we basically just have our options here for the background color, the title, 
So you can click on there, you can change the font color of it, you can change the size, um, ch uh, actually change the actual font itself. So I like this Roboto font. So I'm going to change it to that. that the color's fine, I think. So we're going to save it. And then you can change the color of the button, um, currently red. And you can also change the, uh, the color of, of what the button does when you actually hover over it. So if you want to change it, you can just click on the color and it's got uh, just an editor there that you can move it around. Uh, some recent colors that you've used are saved there. If you already have the code for the color that you know, maybe you have a branding guide that existing. So you can actually just paste it in there if you want. And then the font color uh, of what's going to be on the button and also the just the font itself. So that hover color, like when you mouse over that button, you see how it turns a little darker red. That's what that is. And then your fields, uh, basically uh, name and email field. And then if you wanted to change that to uh, input settings, so basically if you want the type of field, uh, title of the field above the actual box, you can do that. Or if you want it actually inside of there, it'll do that. And of course that would disappear when somebody actually starts to type in their email and their name. I actually like this version better. But you can toggle that and play around with it however you want. And then we are, if you want to edit the actual copy of what this is, you can just say, I like using something like, don't miss this. Wasn't wanting to work. And then you can change whatever you want on here. So if it is, you know, get 100 free resources you know, sent to your mailbox inbox or, you know, be the first to hear about deals or, or announcements or, you know, whatever it is you're doing, make sure that that's clear here. If you wanted to list out some bullet points, you can do that. If you wanted to maybe just add a link in here, you can do that. I like to keep it simple and just focus on getting people to just enter in their email and their name. That's the whole purpose of this. So I don't like to get too fancy with it. And then the image over here, this is just a default image, uh, it's set for 250 pixels by 500. So if you, cre you can create your own at 250 by 500, a little preview image or a little teaser image. I actually already created one, and I'm going to go grab it and drag and drop it in there that is already that size. So you drag and drop it, it uploads it, uploads it into this uh, media file manager, then you click select, and I actually created this image to be exactly that size. So there it is. And then if you needed to edit the image, if you wanted to, you know, just kind of play around with the filter or whatever, you can. But once it's there, you've got it in there, and then you can also toggle up here for what it's going to look like when somebody enters in their email, their name, and clicks subscribe, or whatever you want that button to say. So just a little success uh, window here that, that says, you know, you successfully joined our list, and then like we did in the embed form, you might want to tell them to go check their email box to confirm their email or something like that. And, but just very simple, uh, just to confirm that, that when they entered in their uh, name and email that it's, it's good. So play around with it, um, however you like it. I'm going to save that image. You can also just kind of toggle between a desktop view and a, a mobile view. You can see the mobile view is definitely different. It's a lot more simple here because there's just not, not as much room. But the same idea gets across. Now that we're done editing, we go to just kind of the settings and behavior. So this is just asking you when do you want it to pop up, how often, and you can actually set it to a specific time. So maybe wait a few seconds to where people, until people are actually on your site. And I like to, if you're going to do that, I say wait at least 10 seconds. You don't want to annoy them with a pop-up as soon as they get jump onto your site. Or maybe when somebody scrolls um, about 50% down or maybe 75% down as they're 
for example, reading through your blog post or reading through your landing page, you could do that. Um, or maybe you just want it to pop up before they close the page. So that would be when their mouse moves up and uh, you know is about to close out the page or goes off the page, it'll pop up. I actually like that one best. That's my favorite one. But if your website might it might make more sense to use the scroll um, or both. But I'm going to stick with this one here. And then the frequency. So this says set the period when you want. Uh, to show the pop-up to the same user again if they didn't subscribe. So I like to wait at least a couple weeks. So if you do have people coming back to your website pretty regularly, you don't want them to see the same pop-up over and over, okay, if they didn't subscribe. You don't want them to be coming to your website constantly and having to close that pop-up over and over and over again. So I like to wait you know, at least two weeks. So say if somebody is coming back to your website every day or every other day, um, so that maybe two weeks go by before they see it again, maybe a month. Uh, so you can you can set that however you want. And then visibility, uh, show always, hide on specific pages. So if, if you do have a, a specific page that you want to hide it on, you can put the URL of that page there and it won't pop up on that specific URL. Um, or maybe you won't want to only show it on specific pages. Maybe you want a pop-up form that you only want to pop up on specific pages or specific blog posts. So you can list each URL that you want that one pop-up to show up. Maybe it's a very specific giveaway that has to do with one specific page on your website and you can do that. And then just a couple of other here, um, if you want to hide it on mobile devices or tablets, you if you don't want it to pop up on mobile or tablet, you can do that. So toggle around with those settings um, however you want. And then when you're done, just save and continue. And remember, you can always go back and edit it. Now with pop-up forms, it's a little bit different. Um, there is code here that you can paste it onto your website uh, if you want to, that's fine. Uh, you can also use, if you're using a WordPress site, uh, you can install uh, the MailerLite WordPress plugin, and once that is installed, um, there's a little tracking uh, feature that will have the pop-up uh, going onto your website. And if you want to go back and change the pop-up form, you can do that, and it will automatically be updated on, on your, your website, so you don't have to go back to your website and change anything. And in uh, the next lesson, we'll actually look at uh, installing that uh, MailerLite uh, plugin and pop-up form on your website so that it can link directly. Uh, or you can, use, you can just copy and paste the code here um, if that makes more sense, but I actually do use the WordPress plugin for my site. And then just click next, and basically that's all you need to do. Uh, your pop-up form is ready, and then uh, just like we did in the embed form, you can go back and create a confirmation email um, and a confirmation thank you page if your double opt-in is toggled on, just like we looked at in the last lesson. And then once you're ready to go, make sure your pop-up status is active so that it's actually active and running, so it'll work. Um, and you can toggle that off if you want to work on it for a little bit and turn it off you can absolutely do that and then you can look at stats and all that stuff so one thing that you want to make sure you do I like to make sure that the confirmation emails are the same no matter what form I'm using so you can actually just make that the same as you did in your embed form we're not going to go back and do that again because uh, we've already done it once but um, one thing I do wish you could do is just copy you know the same email confirmation or confirmation thank you page as we used before, but can't do that. But uh, just make sure it looks the same. And once you're done, that's it. Um, your pop-up form is done and ready to go. And if you want to just see what it looks like, you can just preview it and it'll just kind of pop up here. There it is. So let's just say, um, fake one. Okay, so enter in the email, and then you have successfully joined our list, continue, and it just goes away. So that's just the experience that people will get when they see your pop-up form. So next lesson to close out this section on the forms, 
we're going to be looking at just installing that MailerLite WordPress plugin so that your pop-up forms are linked uh, right to your WordPress website so that you don't have to constantly go back to your site and update something. When you update that form through your MailerLite account, it'll automatically be updated on your WordPress website, which is really cool. So we'll just look at real quickly how to install that on your site.